guys, it's Kevin over here at Lakeside Buggies, and today I want to make another video following up on this Apple CarPlay install we did on this Generation 1 Mad Jacks X Series. Okay, guys, the Gen 1 X Series golf cart is an excellent value. I've seen them at dealers for as little as $7,900 in some areas. There's only just a handful of those left, probably, at some of those dealers. A lot of people won't purchase them, though, because they don't come with lithium batteries or they have a Reliance lithium battery or any number of reasons. Uh, we've got two left. You can see them off camera. They're both fully loaded, lifted. One's black, one's teal. And currently they both have the Continental AGM batteries in them. We have them on our website for $10,900, but and we sold one, this one here today. Uh, the customer would not take delivery without a lithium battery. So we, would, we agreed to do a fleet lithium uh, 51 volt 105. And uh, we did 12.5 out the door. We'll do the same deal for you on those two. We'd love to get those units sold. Uh, but this is a great, great golf cart. Rides awesome. It's got the custom wheels, custom tires, custom seats. I don't know what a lot of these $7,900 carts look like, but anyways, if you find a deal on a Gen 1, but you want to upgrade to lithium, this is going to be a great video for you to watch. So let's follow along as I take these batteries out, swap the charger, get the gauge swapped, and get this thing on the road. So the 51 volt 160 battery right here, uh, it's specially sized, so it fits into the Icon, the Epic, the Mad Jacks, the Easy Goes, the Club Cars. This battery fits into quite a few different units with no need for brackets, no need for any cutting or special uh, you know, tools or anything. So I just wanted to show you guys how this fits into that battery trick today. Along with the 51150, I'm sorry, the 51105 that we're going to actually be installing in this part to send out the item. All right guys, so I'm gonna blast through this pretty quickly. I might even just time lapse it. Uh, this is all really straightforward here. This Gen 1 X series is super easy to swap. Uh, the club car I did uh, a while back, that was a lot more detailed. That video wound up being an hour long. So I'm gonna see if I can't make this video about 10 or 15 minutes and uh, time lapse some things. We're gonna start off by removing these Continental AGM batteries. And the first thing you're gonna do is just remove all of the nuts on all the batteries. I like to take the nuts off and then set them aside and then carefully remove each wire individually as to not short the battery pack out. Um, I always start off by removing my ground off of my battery pack and then my positive off my battery pack to remove that from the golf cart and isolate the pack so we don't have any shorts uh, or anything like that. So follow along, I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out and uh, probably go ahead and time lapse it. Okay guys, hit a little snag. So you have this uh, rear cover here that covers your, your uh, golf cart's rear body and the battery's tucked way back in there. So we are gonna take a little small detour with a 13 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna loosen the nuts on the top of these batteries very carefully. Be careful not to touch your uh, wrench to this other terminal. Just take your wrench, go back here, put it on the nut, uh, loosen that a little turn or two, and then you can pretty much from there loosen the nut uh, by hand. Easy enough. Go ahead and pull these wires off. Be careful when you're taking these old battery cables off that you don't touch it to another battery terminal. Awesome, so we've got those batteries all disconnected. These are ready to come out right now. This is a battery puller tool. You can get these at AutoZone, O'Reilly's, um, or online actually, it's probably your best bet on Amazon. I think this is made by Lyle Tools, I don't know. But this right here makes pulling lead acid batteries extremely, extremely easy. Um, you can do this job yourself with one of these tools much easier than without. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump in here and yank these batteries out, guys, let's go. Uh, what, you know, I, I forgot to mention, <clears throat> I, my last video I did, I was very adamant about safety and protection gear. And the reason I haven't mentioned anything on this video, although I really should have, is that I'm using uh, sealed AGM batteries. These are Continental AGMs, they're brand new batteries. I think they're takeout batteries from an Icon uh, or an Epic golf cart that we had in stock upgraded to a lithium. 
So we use these to keep the cost down as low as possible to get these out the door at 10.9, uh, which is basically our cost on them. And uh, anyways, these are the best possible alternative to a lithium battery. They've got a bad reputation online, in my opinion. It's due to the fact that when Icon put these in their carts, they never programmed their chargers to uh, day one and had a lot of issues with these batteries failing. When we install these, we actually also install the correct charger for this. So we, we actually haven't ever had any problems with them. I can count on one hand how many times we've replaced these under warranty. All right guys, so while we'll be doing our final installation here with the 51 volt 105 battery, what I wanna to do today is just show you how easy it is to install the 5160 battery. I think I've, uh, I was just told that we're changing over to 150 amp hour now. So in the future, you'll see just 150 amp hours. And there, there you have it guys. I mean, that, that was really the gist of installing the 51 volt 160. Next thing you would do in this situation is you would drill a couple of holes in the bottom of the frame here Attach a couple of screws from underneath and you're done. You are completely finished with installing the 51 volt 160 or 150 battery. <clears throat> Let's take a look at that battery tray. Of course, I didn't install any of the wires yet, but your power and ground are here. And the Fleet Lithium batteries are the only battery on the market uh, that I've ever seen where these are reversed. The reason for that, you've got the frame typically sitting here on an easy go chassis. Uh, you have your positive terminal here close to that frame. So these are reversed to avoid any kind of grounding issues. And these cables typically are sized just right to where you don't have to replace your battery cables either. So it makes the install on these a lot faster and easier. And man, they just look, they look so good in that battery tray. They look so good. They work even better than they look, but uh, I'm gonna pause, start over again, yank that out and put the 51105. We'll actually be leaving in this cart uh, for today's installation in and move forward with this video. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this 51160 battery now, drop in the 51105. Guys, these batteries are very heavy. Make sure you have a friend to help you if you, if you can. If you don't have any friends, just be careful, don't hurt yourself. All right guys, so there you have it. We just took out 400 pounds of uh, lead acid AGM batteries and we replaced it with 102 pounds of Fleet Lithium 300 amp high power output. And now I've got to drill a couple of holes so that we can actually mount this battery into the tray. So you're gonna have some metal shavings down here from cutting out, just move those off. These X-Series don't have a bottom tray. Pretty easy just to sweep that down onto the floor and clean it up when you're done installing. Also really easy to install your hardware because you can reach straight through to the floor. All right, we'll come back and actually tighten that up a little bit later. Straighten that back out. I'm gonna make one more hole there on the back part. I wasn't able to use the holes on the factory frame for this particular install, uh, but they do work pretty often. Either way, these multiple uh, holes allow these batteries to just be installed in so many different ways so easily. Get this last hole drilled. Alrighty guys, let's get these hardware pieces in and move on to the wiring. Okay guys, there you have it. I didn't show you the hooking up of this part, but it's so easy, I don't need to. Everything is labeled. All of your grounds go to your ground terminal and all your powers go to your power terminal. This is the factory charger that's uh, coming off here. I've got to remove all of that from the charger backside over here. And we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the 51 volt uh, Fleet Lithium Fast Charger and get that hooked up. And then we're gonna wire the gauge after that. For the sake of time in this video, I'm not showing you every step. 
This charger is mounted to a bracket with four bolts on the bracket. I'm gonna remove that and pull the charger out and then we're gonna move on. Okay guys, all right guys, I apologize, but I had to speed up a little bit. I've actually got a driver here waiting to pick up this truck and I've still got to put this gauge into that hole there. So I'm gonna rush through the rest of this. I, I just dropped the charger in here. The Fleet Lithium charger lines up perfectly with the bracket that it comes with in here and uh, then it plugs in easily to the regular charging port here. Uh, run the wires back this way and you'll clean your zip ties up. That's pretty all straightforward, I think. Uh, the last step we've got is to install this gauge and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. So, the factory gauge on the X series is very, very much almost identical. Our gauge uh, is specifically programmed for our battery, so we do have to swap it. Stinks, but it is what it is. Uh, it's very easy to do. The most difficult thing about it is gonna be pulling uh, the nuts off of the back of that gauge. And again, guys, I'm sorry, but for the sake of time, I've got to kind of push through here. Did not expect a driver to show up so quickly. So I always pop this down. I grab a seven millimeter socket and a quarter inch drive ratchet. And I go in through this hole and I put the bracket on the back of the gauge and I put those nuts back onto the studs by hand. I get them all the way tight. And then I go ahead and use the ratchet to get them tightened down. So I'm gonna do that now, finish that up. And then I'll be running this wire here. I personally like to run this wire with the factory wiring harness down to the front and then you can put it straight up through the front body it's very easy to get your hands on it and you'll plug it into the gauge so guys i'm going to go ahead and just do all of those things now and then i'll take this for a quick test drive and we're going to get this shipped out okay guys there you have it i am finished with this installation i really had to speed it up towards the end there um, the gauge was the last thing to install but i did go over how to do that uh, ran the wire down below plugged it into the battery all right guys i just wrapped up and i'm going to pick take this out for a test drive uh, that's the screen that we just installed on the last video and the fleet lithium battery with the charger is in the gauge is in and uh, guys if you find a good deal on one of these gen ones you know i've got a gen 2 sitting right here and realistically you know the gen 2 dash is great the paints are great the gen 2 is worth the four thousand dollars more than it takes to purchase it uh, but if you find one of these right here for an incredibly good deal, don't be afraid to grab it. Grab a screen from us on our website. Um, get a lithium battery from us as well on our website. And put that into the golf cart and you're going to have a totally, totally different Gen 1 X series. And you're going to save yourself a bunch of money. This battery, and it's noticeable how much more uh, powerful it is, even in the eco battery powered carts. And I noticed that you can actually replace... Uh, our battery with an eco battery card if you wanted to as well it's uh it just hit 25 and it kind of leveled out there oops there we go i like to use ways from a speedometer personally i think it works absolutely the best and you can see the speedometer right up there at the top and that uses the gps signal Got your battery meter down here. And we are, we just hit our speed limiter. The handling on these uh, Gen 1 X series has always been just really impressive to me. Even the Gen 1, uh, Gen 2s are even better, but the Gen 1s are fantastic guys. And uh, with this fleet battery in there, I mean, you really have nothing left to complain about on this part. And we sold this for 12.5 out the door. Uh, so you got an incredible deal on this. And uh, we've got a couple left if you guys are interested. Give us a shout and we'll be glad to get you one as well. And uh, up here in Florida, our store has actually uh, got a new website called Oceanside Golf Cars. We are very much connected with Lakeside Buggies at that store, but Oceanside Golf Cars has a separate phone number so you can reach in directly. And uh, we've got a huge lot there with quite a few carts. Uh, and next week we'll actually be getting about 20 units in here. So let me jump off and walk around this one more time. There it is, guys. And you actually saw the brakes on that. People have been complaining about the brakes. I will definitely say the Gen 1 brakes are smaller 
and they're not as um, they're not as grabby as the Gen 2 brakes, but they definitely aren't just non-existent. And these honey suede seats are awesome. Again, on this setup here, we didn't install any speakers. That was a uh, customer choice. So this is just the Apple CarPlay radio. You can actually install like an Eco X gear sound bar along with this to connect to Bluetooth for audio. And you can use all of the features of Apple CarPlay here, including your Spotify for controls. Um, or you can just add a couple of speakers on the actual head unit itself. Totally up to you. But with this fleet lithium battery, guys, these parts haul. I think this one's probably not programmed at 25 on GPS. It's probably showing a little lower than that. So that's a little programming that can change. Something I'll knock out here in just a minute. I, I don't usually do it anymore before the videos because it's gotten to be so common that everybody understands how easy it is uh, now to program all of these different golf carts. For example, like the Vibe golf cart we sell uses uh, the exact same uh, controller uh, profile as a Magjax does. Oh, look, we got one side by side. Real quick, I just wanted to walk around. I've got this uh, Vibe EV4 sitting right next to a Gen 1 Magjax that we just finished uh, putting a lithium battery. We did a Fleet Lithium 51105. We installed our digital dash with backup camera on it. Uh, this is a Gen 1, so it's kind of a closeout deal. We we did what we had to do to get it moved. And uh, these come fully loaded, already installed with the fleet battery, with the digital backup camera and screen. You guys, the Vibe is a great deal. It's hard to beat. Uh, this right here would be about 12.9, and that Magjax was right around the same price. Here's your X-Series side-by-side -side with the Magjax for just an example of the two golf carts and what is um, different about them. They're really close on the same price points. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, it's getting dark, it's getting late, and I've got to get out of here. I've got to get this cart shipped. So have a good night, guys. Thank you for watching. Oh, uh, let's go real quick. There he is, your backup camera, guys. So that's about it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching.